embody self-love intensive, it cracked me wide open. It cracked open the veneer of isolation and the fear of disapproval and the shell of self-protection that I had built up over the years. I began this retreat saying, I have no idea what my sensual essence is. I don't even know what that means. To the end, loving and accepting everything that is me. I quit hiding myself. I quit hoarding myself. I discovered I am a goddess. But most of all, I learned. today to actually share with you what I experienced at Embody Self Love Intensive. I was petrified to sign up with that word. It just made me feel like it's more work than I was willing or capable of handling at that time. I went to the course really reserved, petrified, and what happened was from the guide of my sisters, they allowed for me to see what I was actually really avoiding was a deeper sense of love for myself. I thought I was well on my journey. They showed me and they helped me get to a deeper place in my soul and love for myself that I didn't even know was available. They taught me about women and how we live in this world of envy and comparison and competition and how we could pair up and support each other in loving team sistership. The fear removed, right? Then walking me through with these loving arms and these loving experiences got me to the other side of what I want you guys to have. To say I do you get the love that I wanted. We were in a car ride back on, from the birthplace of Krishna and I just wanted to put my head in her lap and let her stroke my hair. And she's not just going to do it. That's not the language she was taught. So I, <laughs> I was battling with myself and I basically just surrendered and let my head fall in her lap and I said, is this okay? And she goes, yeah. <sighs> and I realized that that was an act of self-love. To, to go receive anybody else's love, we have to love ourselves. Then I was able to be with what I'd been aging for. And that's embodying self-love. Bring it on. Bring on that mother love. And anybody else's too. Waiting for the ember to blow.